Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to the Toasted Toast Marshmallow, Marshmallow Adventures podcast. podcast. Today in the studio, we have Dylan Bronson. Woo! What, what? Also known welcome. as... Big D. Big D Comedy. Yes. Let me have you just take that mic and swing it towards you just a couple inches. Yeah, right there about there. Is that better? You hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's closer? good. It's... I'm a newbie. I, I'm a, I think so. Closer. Yeah, just a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a newbie. Yeah. You, yeah. you hear me okay? All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there, there we go. go. All, All right, great. So we have Dylan in the studio today. So this Woo! is awesome. He came by. We're doing an afternoon podcast. Yes, we, we never are. do that. Um, we still do have <laughs> drinks because we are the Toasted Marshmallow. Yes, got two. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So Dylan uh, he is a stand-up comedian. Also, uh, you were telling us about you do some... Uh, promotional stuff and DJing and karaoke. Where yeah. are you based out of right now? Uh, Twin Falls. Twin, Twin Falls, Falls, Idaho. Yeah. Are you a native to Twin Falls? I moved there when I was 16. I'm um, 43, so I've been there a while. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. Went to high school there and uh, moved away for a few years to Washington, but came back. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm a it's native. Home. I'm yeah. a native. <laughs> Pretty much Idaho's native, where yeah. I, yeah. I got, And I've been around Twin Falls since basically around that time, so Twin Jerome. So. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, you didn't like Washington at all? I loved Washington, actually. Oh, really? I, I, uh, I, I loved it. I got divorced. Mm. Uh, the ex moved back to Idaho with the kids, and I followed. Mm-hmm. So oh, okay. you know, kids came back, I came back. Wow, That's, yeah. Um, as much as I loved it there, it was, you know. Yeah. yeah you got to be with the kids. Yeah, on. definitely. So. Yeah, I watched uh, some little cute video. I think it was your daughter jumping on trampolines at jump time or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, dancing. She was just a, I, I, I said, it's the next craze. Uh, she's going to start something, I think. The, I, I, was, I was torn between uh, dance jumping or jump dancing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I, we may have settled on huh. jump dancing because okay. it kind of like rolls a little better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, jump so, dancing. Yeah, she's... If anyone's going to start it, she will. You could get her on TikTok. TikTok, That's the maybe. New big should thing, blow isn't up. it? So, <laughs> so apparently, I'm not that great and savvy with with apps because oh, I have literally have never. We're you know, all in the same age range. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't TikTok. I, heard about I don't know it on a podcast. <laughs> it's it's amazing that I'm even on Snapchat. So, <laughs> oh yeah. dang, we aren't. <laughs> no, no, we were. We we just got on recently. Instagram. Have learned Instagram. Yeah. I feel like a genius when I post a story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've been on Instagram for a while. Um, but I re I've only had my, the big D comedy Idaho page. Um, oh, nice. Do we know about that? Yeah, we follow them. Oh, yeah, follow nice. At, at yes. big D good, good. comedy Idaho. Good. Um, it was like, <laughs> this is how terrible I am with, with, uh, social media. It was big underscore D underscore <laughs> comedy yeah. underscore idaho and i and i was at a show i did a show and i'm like follow me at big oh, underscore D. i realized very quickly yeah. it was a little cumbersome you know it was yeah. like oh this That's is just ter-. so i i shortened it up nice I, I tried to make it flow a little better right. so you know, yeah people are like so that's big yeah well, what? D- what's an underscore I, that's the but the, yeah i'm like you know the yeah. slash but down you know yeah, it's, the a, it's the drunk slash it's the one yeah. that fell down already yeah, yeah. So. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that makes a big difference. We've been talking about how long our name is. Toasted, yeah, Toasted Marshmallow, Marshmallow Adventures. Yeah. Adventures. I've been telling yeah. people I'm going to be on here, and they're like, what What podcast? I'm like, Toasted Marshmallow Adventures. <laughs> like, and they're like, like we're okay, not, we're not all typing right. that much, Dan. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's that long. I actually don't think it's that bad. Oh, dang, nice. I, I think it's I think it's a great name. I like it a lot. Yeah, it is cool. when you're typing into YouTube or something like, and having to make those. Yeah, when you have to type thumbnails. the whole thing out. At least yes. For, you know, oh, you know yeah. what though? I feel like I feel like Toasted Marshmallow Adventures sounds like a couple of stoners out <laughs> hiking. There you go. <laughs> you know, yeah. like we're high as shit and we're hiking in the mountains and what? we're what? <laughs> yeah. and we're white. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're white. <laughs> so the, yeah. so. I'm on Toasted Marshall Adventures, and I'm like, well, these guys aren't hiking. What's going on? Where's the pictures of sunsets? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of one of my favorite like Joe Rogan jokes uh, when he's talking about being out. Uh, uh, what's that TV show you used to have? Anyways, they were out hunting Bigfoot. Fear Factor. Not that one, oh. a different one. They were they out a different one? hunting Bigfoot. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll find the name of it. Joe somehow. questions everything. That yeah, might that be one. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a show. Joe yeah. questions Something everything. Something like that. Used yeah. To be, yeah. Oh. But anyways, he said anyway, uh, talking about white people hiking. Uh, <laughs> he said, you know what you don't find out there when you're looking for Bigfoot? He goes, 
black people, <laughs> right? <laughs> they know better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every hike we've been on about. Well, 15 minutes in, I go, what are we doing? Why yeah, is this fun? Why? You don't find Mexicans out there either. They <laughs> no. don't care. They don't care about Bigfoot. No, nobody yeah, cares. Right. It's only it's only weird white people that care about Bigfoot. <laughs> weird white people are out there like, I yeah. think I saw something. It was a squirrel. All right. Yeah. We all know it was a squirrel. Right. Jeb, we know. Jeb. <laughs> this has a theory that Bigfoot just is blurry. Well, I heard that from Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> yeah. He said that on one of his, it's one of his bits that he thinks Bigfoot is just blurry. It's That's not why that every photo. Like Loch Ness. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Bigfoot and Loch Ness, yeah. they're just blurry just in blurry. general. Yeah. Yeah. It could be. Exactly. Yeah. You never know. I never know. It's because no picture in history, even now with HD cameras, we still can't get no. a clear picture of Bigfoot, no. Loch Ness, or an alien. <laughs> right. Exactly. Or, or a spaceship. Yeah. Like, we just can't figure it out yeah. with these high-tech cameras exactly. and nobody's getting it. Yeah. No. <laughs> Jeez. So, uh, we're not in a Bigfoot-friendly crowd here today. <laughs> uh, so, Twin Falls, you do comedy there. Now, do you travel yeah. much? For uh, uh, well, so, it's, it's tough for me because... Um, I have a young daughter. You mentioned I have a, you know, I got a baby and she just turned two. Oh, dang. Yeah. Um, during the summer, I'm crazy busy with my landscaping business. And in the winter, I'm broke. Mm -hmm. So uh, between the two of those things, it's hard to get out and come down um, yeah. and do shows. Uh, and, you know, I have I have guys that come up to twin and they're like, hey, you got you should come down and do. Uh, do some shows and, and it turns out now that in Boise that Tuesday night is just crazy it's it yes, is they we I think it's been uh, unofficially labeled two full Tuesday now There's here yeah three, too much Tuesday too three? much Tuesday or yeah, yeah well they're open one mics. place and then we want yeah, to go it'll to go, other places I think it goes um and I have the list but it goes you know one starts at six o'clock yeah um I think it goes six to eight eight to ten 10 to 11 or, or, or somewhere wow. in there it's it, but it's just tuesdays just loaded kill it. yeah and i yeah. and i told my girlfriend i said you know we need to go down on a tuesday wednesday night because between tuesday and wednesday you can do five open mics wow that's cool. you know five yeah. there's two on and that's just in boise mm -hmm. that doesn't include nampa caldwell mm -hmm. eagle yeah. meridian any of the other outer outer places just that's boise. just wow. boise city dang so i mean I'm working on that, mm -hmm. you know, getting down yeah. here uh, during the week. It's just I have obligations during the week. Mm -hmm. And so I don't get a lot of chance to come down, pay for a hotel, pay for oh, food. Yeah. Lord knows pay for drinks because that's going to be the biggest bill. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I would love to, believe me. Yeah. It would be nice to get down here and and do something mm -hmm. instead of just kind of in the comfort of my own spot. Yeah. yeah. You know, Um I am fortunate because in April we're doing this fundraiser and it is at an entirely different place that I would probably ever perform. It's a really upscale uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. um, uh, Milner's Gate, which is new. It's, you know, in Twin Falls? high end. Yeah, okay. it's, it's one of the more high end restaurants um, doing a fundraiser for uh, Voices Against Violence. Oh, nice. Um, a friend of mine came to me and she... Uh, is doing a class i think in college she's doing a college class in a domestic violence and uh one she's got to do a project oh wanted to put together a comedy show yeah i was like hey no problem we got this. yeah let's do this <laughs> yeah. thank you for just allowing me to be a part of it <laughs> yeah. you know because yeah. you know domestic violence is important it's a, you know fighting and helping people recover from that yeah you know and voices against violence is a great place to you know they're just a really they help people who have been in those situations mm -hmm. and their kids and yeah um so I'm, it's really great to be a part of that and uh so all the proceeds go to that or all the proceeds are going to go to that nice um yeah and i don't you know there's I, i'm i've only been a privy to the comedy part i've only i've only booked the acts mm -hmm. and um that's it that's that's all I've done so far, mm -hmm. um, and she's running the rest of it. But um, you know, she got the venue, and oh, nice. um, she's going to get all the you know. We're going to do giveaways and yeah, um, cool. auctions and whatnot. But and yeah, when is that? That is April seventh. Oh, awesome! April seventh. Yes, right. it yeah. was April. This and this is the, uh, the when we originally had talked about the, the difficulties of being a comedian in Twin Falls. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
originally the date was April 4th, oh. which is a Saturday night. Uh-huh. Yeah, no. Mm. No? No. Uh, it got moved uh-huh. to a Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> and, it's, and, not, and not because they do shows. It's not that at all. It's because the Saturday night crowd is very busy. Oh. And mm. there were cons- there was concerns about bringing in a show and all, all this stuff, this this extra thing mm-hmm. yeah. on a Saturday night, on a night oh, that's established for dinner and drinks. Oh, and yeah. 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 That's kind of what we battle yeah. in Twin Falls is, yeah. uh, you know, people are afraid. Date night. And, yeah. People yeah. are afraid to... People are afraid to book a comedy show on a Friday or Saturday wow. night. It's ridiculous. Wow. Because uh, there's not actually a comedy club in Twin Falls. There absolutely is not a comedy club in Twin yeah. Falls. Um, as a matter of fact, and I don't know this as fact, but I th- believe that my show, the Big D's Super Awesome Comedy Show, may be <laughs> the longest means. running really? comedy show oh, in Twin wow. Falls. How long? We're approaching... This year will be, I believe, I want to say two years. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, we're probably about a year and a half now. It was summer of, I want to say, 2018. Mm-hmm. That, you just got a wild hair? Uh, well, what happened was, and this is, you know, we'll get into this. Let's do the story. Okay, yeah. cool. Story time. Yeah. Story right? time. We like yeah. Story time. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I love that button. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to give me a hype yeah. button. Yeah. Everyone we do that in our button. house. Yeah. We do that in our, we don't have a button. We just oh, all go, okay. <laughs> Um, get them on Amazon. Yeah, that's a, I, I'm getting one. I'm going to order yeah. one. I'm just going to... Now I don't have to yell it. I can just push the button. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's an American way. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Make I'm not going to put the effort into it. I'm just going to push the button. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I was working at a bar um, called Maryland's, in, which is no longer open, but uh, downtown Twin Falls. Uh, Casey Hunt was ho- hosting an open mic at the Brick House, which is just across the way, like literally, you know, right across. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know this. Uh, but a guy had come in. And I was dead, as I usually was at this bar, which is why it's no longer open. <laughs> um, we were dead, and a uh, guy come over. I said, "What? What are you doing?" And he's like, "Oh, I just came from the comedy open mic across the way." And I was like, "What? Comedy open mic?" <laughs> uh, so I shut the bar down and ran across the way. Really? And uh, wow. real, yeah. <laughs> I shut cool. it down. There was nobody in it. Yeah, yeah I didn't have heck? to kick anyone out. I was. It was just like, okay, what yeah. am I doing here? Why I'm waste out. my time here? <laughs> yeah. So I shut it down and I ran across the way and I talked to KC and I was like, hey, is it uh, is it too late to do a set? And he was like, well, we're getting ready to close down, but you know, hop the mic's still up, so go yeah. for it. Really? I did, uh, and what he you, did. What he did. did you run with? Oh my gosh! Just so off the cuff, or off the cuff? Oh wow! And I got to be honest with you, I do ninety um, percent of what I do is off the cuff. Really? really? I have I have a really hard time sitting down and writing material. Dang! I'm terrible at it. Huh. Wow. Um, I, I so do I, you have like concepts? Or I something? jot down ideas. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a lot of times I'll have like four words. I, oh, I have a show tonight. I have no clue what I'm going to talk about. Oh wow! Oh, no I idea. Be paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> literally, literally no clue. I, I, I kind of uh, have a, a couple of ideas, maybe what I might run with, but overall, I'm literally I'm sitting here in front of you well, with. Is it mostly crowd work or no? Like, wow. No, I just. Uh, there have been nights that I have gone up on stage with no clue. Wow! <laughs> just and just winged it, and it worked. Wow! Really? I got lucky. I'd be terrified. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. That's Jeez. that's all. And, and but I, what I'm finding out is, and that's worked out well for now. Yeah. I mean, but I'm trying to get into more time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, an yeah. actual like opening or feature oh, set, yeah. and so you know, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. You have to sit down. You have to kind of go with yeah. your ideas, piece them together, see how they work. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to get serious, mm-hmm. and that's kind of where I'm at now. And now I'm kind of more like, okay. I need to really put some thought into what I'm doing. I yeah. can't just because as yeah. as of right now or all this time, I've just been hosting the show and opening, mm-hmm. and so it's a you know however long I want to do is how long I do. Oh, I see. You know, if I yeah. want to do a quick little few jokes yeah. and call it good, get on with mm-hmm. the show, or if I want to actually put you know ten fifteen minutes into it, mm-hmm. uh, then I can do that. I have that freedom as the host. Mm-hmm. I can kind of. You know, yeah. I go up first, and then I introduced the next person. So yeah, which is nice. Yeah, uh, it's nice to have that freedom. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So we we got off 
Oh, a couple of turns. Yeah. Yeah, 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 turns. yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm really good for that. I'm really no, good for that. No, I do that. it too, so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> story. Yeah. Uh, oh, so I went over. I did my set. <laughs> yeah, okay. At Casey, the Brick right, House. There Casey we are. was hosting. We'll, go, <laughs> nice. we'll, we'll backtrack. Um, and uh, I did a set about my dog being a sex offender. I, I felt like my dog was a sex offender, which is actually true. I feel like my, my dog is a social uh, sexual deviant. Uh, in every way possible. Really? He's so weird, you know? Yeah. He just really does weird things. Does like hump a lot of stuff? He or humped. I, part of my, part of my, and this wasn't part of the set, but this was something I added on later, is uh, we yard sale a lot. As a matter of fact, in the time I left my hotel today and I came here, we hit three yard sales. Oh, wow. That happened. We do that. That's what we do. <laughs> we are yard sale freaks and we got some yeah. really great deals. Nice. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Namp, uh, n- Meridian is the place to yard oh, sale okay. here, apparently. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, he humped a tent. He humped a tent. I came. Uh, we went yard sailing. I came home. I put the tent out. Um, it was free. A free tent I got. And yeah. we came back from yard sailing more. And he had humped the tent bag across the floor and up the <laughs> stairs somehow. Up the stairs. There was tent poles going up I, I don't know how he did oh, it. Oh wow. I don't know how he did it. They were going upstairs, they were going down the hall. Yeah, he's a weird dog. He's a Boston well, Terrier. I Boston don't know. Terrier. Yeah, he's a Boston okay. Terrier. He Jeez. he kind of does what he wants. He he has a thing for big girls. Uh he has no desire to hump any dog his size. They have jeez. they've got to be at least four times his size. Oh jeez. And male or female, he doesn't care. He's uh he's gender fluid. <laughs> uh, so he's just you know he kind of does his thing he just you know don't hold still too long yeah so that um so that first time you went up that night so you shut the bar down you went over you'd never done comedy before never had you ever thought of doing it um Were you well a fan i was a comedy i or? was one of those kids that grew up where everybody told you you should do comedy okay um because i moved a lot as a kid i mean a lot I mean, we moved a lot. Yeah. And so I was always that kid in the back of the room cracking jokes. Okay. You know, I didn't want to make friends, but I was the first one to say some off-color shit in the back of the in yeah. the classroom, you know. And uh, so, and my mom was always, you know, I'd have her just busting up all the time. Yeah. She, you know, you need to be a comedian. And uh, so, you know, it was one of those things. I didn't, hadn't really considered it ever as something oh, I was going to do. That's all right. We're going to work with the yeah. with, see? Duchess. We're good. We're good. We just don't want to pull the cords. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so it wasn't – I'd never sat down and wrote bits. I'd never yeah. – you know, I've always been a fan of comedy. You know, uh, Dave Attell is, uh, is probably my hero. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, if I could do something with Dave Attell, it'd probably, I could end my career and be done. Yeah. You know, just open for him one time. I'd be good. Done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big D's over. He's, he's yeah. hit the pinnacle. We're good. Dave, Dave Attell. Attell yeah. We're okay. So, um, but yeah, no, I went up there and I literally had just come up with a bit from wow. one, from one bar, one end of the parking lot to the other. Jeez. It was about five minutes or so oh my about my dog, um, finding roofies under his dog bed. Um, essentially they were my roofies that he had stolen over a period of time. I was using them on the stuffed animals around the house. So, uh, yeah, just a quick, you know, and I, I'm so, I'm so ADD that I have a hard time sitting down and focusing on anything, yeah. you know? So when an idea comes to me, I just, it's, I have, I have ideas in my phone. I have ideas jotted down on notebooks. I have ideas jotted down on a napkin. Uh, I have ideas just everywhere. Best yeah. ideas, napkin ideas. Yeah. Oh man. Typically, I do that yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I have ideas bouncing in my head right now. Like as we're talking and we're doing this, I'm I'm yeah. thinking of my show tonight. Yeah. That's yeah. I guess one of the benefits of being ADD or ADHD or whatever. Yeah. I never was diagnosed because I was before pre pre pre. pre yeah. The diagnosis. Yeah. Show, you right? just didn't yeah. focus. That's what yeah, they told no. you. You're, you were just a crazy kid. At yeah, that point. you know he's so smart. If he just apply himself, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the apply kids. himself. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Every Bad. every teacher. Yeah. yeah. Every teacher. If he's so smart, if he just apply himself. Well, I, I apply myself that. to not really applying myself. <laughs> I'm good at it. <laughs> um, tell us real quick about music bingo. What is that? Because I saw that on your Instagram page. Um, just 
poking around there? Or what is music bingo? Music bingo is one of the greatest things ever invented. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> and for two reasons. Uh, first reason being I make a lot of money doing it. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, okay, I'm not getting rich. But yeah, yeah, I yeah. got through the winter basically doing music bingo oh, wow. and karaoke this year. So wow, that's good. I, I was as able, a landscape I was a, As a landscaper in the summer... Yeah. Spring, summer, fall. Mm-hmm. It's always stressful in the winter yeah. because I am not a saver. I'm a spender. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I'm always, at the beginning of the year, I'm like, I'm going to put money in a savings I account. I got this. <laughs> winter comes, I'm going to be set. Right. I can sit back and Loaded. relax, spend time with my daughter yeah. and my son. Easy peasy. And just chill. <laughs> right. And no. <laughs> it never <laughs> works that way. No. <laughs> it never works that <laughs> way. So um, I work. Mm-hmm. And so this year, it just worked out really well that we started this uh um, our events and adventures entertainment with a friend of ours who is down here in uh twenties. He's actually he um he runs music bingo at Indian Creek Steakhouse. Oh, every, really? Uh, every other in Sunday in Caldwell. Yeah. Wow. Um, he started doing that. Um, I don't. What is music? What it? So what, what is it, it is is we build a playlist of about a hundred songs. Uh-huh. We'll theme it. So um, you know, we have themes like. Billboard hits of the 70s and 80s, mm-hmm. for example. Yeah. So it'll be top hits of the 70s and 80s on Billboard. We build that playlist of 100 songs, print out bingo cards. Uh-huh. And instead of B12, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. it has song name and title, artists and title on it. Mm-hmm. Oh. You have your free space. And then the rest of it is just artists and titles. I see. And so, and then what we do is we play a snippet of the oh. song. 30 seconds to a minute of a song. That sounds fun. And so, and then we skip to the next song. I would skip suck to the next at song, it, skip to the next song. If you have So it, you got to know the artist you and the song know name. It, okay. Yeah. You well, would kill at this. I would. You would suck at it. I would yeah. suck at <laughs> yeah. it. Oh, I mean, yeah. you, you know that one song good, yeah. when we were doing <laughs> yeah. this thing? Yeah. yeah. And, and I'll tell you what, we usually, so we've been, I've, I was doing this a while back. They've been doing it in Twin Falls at the Log Tavern. They've been doing it for a long time. Jack brought it there. Jack Webster, my, our partner. Mm hmm. Brought it there a long time ago, and uh, it's just now getting the point. Now I think we're doing it at like four or five different places. It's kind of this year has really Picked gotten up. popular. Oh, nice. I'm doing it in Burley. Uh, we're doing it in Wendell. We're wow. doing it in Caldwell. We're doing it. Dang. Um, we're doing it in Twin. Um, yeah, we really ex- oh, have expanded this. Awesome. It, but ultimately, it just took. Uh, a, the three of us to get together and sit down and and be like, you know, what's our commitment level mm-hmm. on this project? So together. you take you guys actually go to Caldwell. You go to Wendell. He and- he lives down here now. Oh, okay. So he's down here. So he's at the Whitewater. Mm-hmm. Um, he did the sound for the last comedy show there at the Whitewater. Mm-hmm. Um, and so and he does karaoke on Saturday nights, and then he has another kid that actually works for us that does um, karaoke on Friday nights. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> works for him really not me i'm in twin yeah I, have, I, I don't have anything to do with the the anything that happens down here yeah uh, my girlfriend and i run everything that happens up and up there mm-hmm. and he runs what goes on down here mm-hmm. uh same with his magazine he takes care of every all the advertising down here and we pretty well but the, about 70 percent. my girlfriend takes care of the advertising up there oh okay you know? so um it's a nice partnership it's worked out really well this winter oh nice um you know, with the karaoke, music bingo. Yeah. Just DJing. Um, as a matter of fact, next Friday, I'm in Burley DJing an 80s party at BJ Sports Tavern. Oh, cool. Yeah, I do I do music bingo there the first Wednesday of every month. Mm-hmm. And then they usually plan a party uh, somewhere along the month. Last month was uh, BJ's in your PJ's. <laughs> oh, dang. B- BJ's in your PJ's. And so I made sure to let everybody know right off the bat that just because they're in PJ's, they weren't getting BJ's. <laughs> right. They had to go ahead and figure that one out yes, for themselves. Yes. Yeah, they, they're going to have to put in the work. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, dang. God. <laughs> yeah right. Right. Yeah. right. No, B- BJ's are not given. No, no. You, you must. You must <laughs> earn work those. For this. Earn. The BJ's. <laughs> yeah. So, who is Summer Beezy? Uh, that's my girlfriend. All right. Yeah, she's pretty amazing. And then she does. She works with you. Yes. On she also does everything. All the DJing and you know she does all that's that. That's a too. cool name. Yeah. Summer well, Beezy. It's not a real last name. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah. It is cool, <laughs> though. It is great. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, yeah. She's, you know, she, um, 
She's fantastic. And mm-hmm. she, you know, we also DJ weddings and stuff. So that's another thing we've picked up. We picked up a few weddings. That was, that's new to us. Mm-hmm. I'm not a wedding guy. Mm-hmm. I've been married and divorced twice. I'm over it. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, weddings yeah. weddings are once. out for me. I was me. like, I yeah. think I'm done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm good. So, yeah. but she does really well with them. So mm-hmm. um, she's fantastic on the weddings. She just is, she's supportive. Mm-hmm. I mean, pushes me, you know, it, I get I get a little bit of mild bouts of depression here and there where I'm just like f everything mm-hmm. and I just don't want to I don't want to mm-hmm. you know and it doesn't matter yeah. you can put a blank after that I don't want to <laughs> yeah anything, anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know and I'll have those days and she helps kind of push me out oh, of those good. like uh, where I'm just like I suck at this I shouldn't be doing this why right, am I bothering like, why am I here why am yeah. I here I, yeah I, I'm a hack you know I'm, yeah I have no business doing this and, mm-hmm. and yeah. she reminds me that you know. Uh, that you know there's a reason i'm doing it mm-hmm. uh that i'm not, I'm not that bad mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not that bad i'm not terrible yeah. you know yeah. i'm certainly not the guys i'm bringing up and what's wrong with having dreams and goals and yeah, exactly. places you want to be she supports there's them wrong with which that. which quite it's frankly awesome. like i said i've been married and divorced twice mm-hmm. um it's the first time in my life i've felt like i've been supported oh, and nice. pushed to follow my dreams yeah no That's matter good. what they are yeah you know it's uh, your dream she's the first one to really uh, make me feel like I'm worthy of it. Like it's okay. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's 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 good. such a it's weird sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's we've been together almost four years, and you know, even still, she surprises me with things mm-hmm. where I'm just like, wow, I, I can't yeah. even believe you just said those words. <laughs> nice. Honestly, you know, I can't awesome. believe that you just you yeah. know, said that to me and and made me feel like I can do this mm-hmm. or made me feel like I'm worthy of doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, she's amazing. Oh, awesome. Um, and, and I, you know, I try to do the same thing back. I, mm-hmm. I try to just, if she says, "Hey, I'd like to do this," great. I, yeah. I feel like I'm you in. can do that. Yeah, yeah. whatever you yeah. need, yeah. I got you. Uh, that's I'm cool. Here. That's so the way to do cool. it. Sweet. Yeah. So, shout out the summer beezy. Yes. Yeah. Shout out to my babe. <laughs> yeah. She's she's my beeb. Your beeb. <laughs> my beeb. That's what my daughter. We always go, "Hey, babe," and my my daughter she can't say babe apparently yet, so she says beeb. <laughs> beeb. So, and so Summer's yeah, so she's my beeb. Your beeb. That's, that's my beeb. awesome. Yeah. Jeez. So you also do a trivia night. Is that uh, yes? Correct? Okay. Yes, we do trivia, and that's kind of that's picked up too. Summer's much better at trivia than I am. Yeah. I, I'm. Do you ever you know, do office trivia? The office. The office. No, and let me. I think that could I be. I gotta big. be honest with you. I have maybe <laughs> seen two episodes of The Office. Oh, oh dang! Wow. See, I'm, we've, I'm we going, watch it on I've repeat. Been, I've been telling Summer we need. I, I want us to go back because she's seen it. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's, there's a few shows she's seen that I haven't. And, um, I told her, hey, I think I want to watch The Office like start to finish. Yeah. Because now you can. You're right. Yeah. 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 Now you can just sit down. Binge the crap yeah. out of it. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it's our go to sleep. TV. Oh, I'm a binger. Most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a terrible binger. I, I get up every morning during the week and pick up my son, take him to school. So I'm up at seven, which for me is early. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. So, so like we stay up and we'll stay up till like one. Yeah. You know, two mm-hmm. o'clock in the morning, binging Dang. shows. Yeah. And sometimes just not great shows. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because <laughs> we watched, we've binged all the good ones. And have now you we're seen done. Tinder Takeover? I have not. Oh, it's where oh. comedians take over. Like, Someone's Tinder account. Yes. And they'll and start just, messaging They don't care. For, is, just, is that on a service? That it's I can, on YouTube. Is it YouTube? Oh, no, no. It's on Hulu. Hulu. Oh, Hulu. I have Hulu. Yeah, Tinder nice. Takeover. Tinder yeah. Takeover. Yeah. yeah. We just binged, um, uh, what is it? Love is Blind? Oh. Is Love Blind? <laughs> oh, no. Love is Blind? Yeah, no. I've oh, never seen it. Gosh. What the Hilarious. hell is wrong with me? That's what I'm thinking the whole time I'm watching this yeah. because I can't stop watching it. And it's only, it's not even done yet. Right. It's like a three part thing and yeah. we happen to catch it at uh, and during the second part. <laughs> And so they, you know, they go, have, have you seen this thing? No, no I've never have. <laughs> they go, they, they get like, uh, like 20 people, 20 men, 20 women or something like that. 10 mm. men, 10 women. I can't remember. And they have a man, a men's side and a women's side of this place. Right. And they have these pods and you can't see. You it can only like talk. like circle. A little a bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't, I, I've, I've seen ads for the circle, yeah. but I've never seen it. But they can talk, but they can't yeah. see each other. So they have to take notes like, oh this gosh. This is Steve. 
and yeah. he oh, likes he you know he's a mechanic and he you <laughs> and know, he could be lying right he could be full of shit yeah straight up I can swear right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So, fuck yeah all right, <laughs> yes. all right. Yeah. Um, I've been holding back a little no oh, okay. no right. no it's us because yeah, I you don't know us this is yeah. a this is a trucker Swearing mouth is good. right here yeah okay. go for like it like if a trucker. Anything you, you know, want. Met a, met, a, met a sailor in a men's bathroom, and they had gay sex in the bathroom. <laughs> there you the go. byproduct of that would be my mouth. <laughs> nice. That's, yeah. pretty, that's gross. It's gross, but it's yeah. It's gross, but here we, are. It. here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so they, they get to know each other, and then they, <laughs> but then they got to marry him. Oh, like you don't go no. on a date. Oh, like wow. you 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 have I to think get I to saw the you have to get to know somebody to the point where you're gonna ask them to marry you. Wow! And this happens. What do you get other than the marriage? Do you get you money? get a trip to Mexico? You're in Mexico. You oh. go to Mexico for a week or two or something. Huh. So you go when you finally decide. I this is a person I want to marry. This wow. is, that I've never that I've never seen before, but I've gotten to know, and they're like crying in these booths together, like, "Oh, yeah, I feel <laughs> oh, you're you're my soulmate, and I love you, I love you." They literally use that no. word after four days. Oh my, we might wow. need to watch this after four <laughs> days. Uh, this, that someone's I I'm in, I'm That's deeply insane. in love with this person. Wow. And they ask him to marry him through the screen, like not even face to face. Do they not even see each other no. at all? Okay. No. So and then no so the next the day after, like. like if he, if this person, if he asks to marry this woman and she accepts, they wait a day, they meet, they face to face, oh. right? And then they're done on the show. Then they go back to their respective Normal pods life. until oh. everything's done. And then they all, like, when it's all said and done, they all go to on a vacation. They're together in a <sighs> villa in Mexico wow. and they get to know each other and yeah, but they're married then they're, or? they are going to get married oh so my gosh. Wow. so they're engaged at this place after no <laughs> not even really knowing they haven't seen each other yeah oh it's ridiculous <laughs> it so and then they like go it. and they have this great time in mexico oh, of where course. The, whole, the whole world has fallen away of course <laughs> yeah you have no and nothing. i've just been sitting here waiting for the third part when everything goes to shit <laughs> because yeah. the, the part that's oh, yeah. coming up is the part where they go back to their real lives yep. have to move in together Bills. and oh, deal God. with the bullshit Kids. Shit stresses Animals. of everyday life job yeah. and and there's a there's an interracial couple which is fine I, yeah. you know me i don't care yeah they, people are people i don't give a shit exactly. you love who you love yeah um but there's and, and it's a real issue like they're literally talk they're preparing for this getting ready to go into the real wow. world which yeah. is sad yeah you we like to think that we've come really far as as a human race in America, that yeah. that these yeah. things don't matter. Color doesn't matter. Sexuality doesn't matter. But ra- maybe you know, on religion doesn't matter. But the fact of the it, this show really honestly it it lets you know that. this is a real thing. Yeah, you know we this is some people actually have to deal with this. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we don't. No. Here, yeah. White folk in Idaho aren't dealing with this. <laughs> yeah. But you know it showed on the preview. You know they're going back. They meet this the 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 lady is black. The guy's white. Mm-hmm. They meet the father. The father's like, "Have you ever even been in a room full of black people?" Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, and it's like, "What? What? Yeah, that's racist as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of racist, you know. That's like some re- like reverse racism. <laughs> it's real." So I'm, I'm waiting for. I feel stupid for even waiting for it, but oh, I've been waiting dude. all this. I'm waiting now for this third part to come this out. This ridiculous be the show. Explosion. Stupid wow. Netflix, man. Uh, I I'm know. Write, I'm gonna write a letter. They do have shows that I'm you a, just get hooked geez. on. I'm gonna write yeah. a letter to Netflix and basically tell them to hurry up and get that third part out. Right. Oh god. Get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna write an angry letter. But it's like just get this shit out so I can get it over with. Yeah, please. I need this. Oh my god. I need that drama. Let me have it. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been trying to get Wendy to watch The Circle because I watched the pretty much the whole series when I was in the hospital. I think that's so, the key, though. Bit. You were in the hospital. Well, you, yeah, you right. had nothing else to do. I, that's true, but I mean, I mean, you watch, but no, no. I Let's do talk not. about Wendy's reality TV watching. I've never done it. <laughs> oh God, it's not Kardashians, is it? I have. You know what? My ex. It was ex-wife a long time ago, has. but it's... my last wife was huge. <laughs> Your last she, wife. My 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 second my second wife. She <laughs> swore. Up and down that she was the long lost Kardashian sister. Uh, oh wow! And we would just chuckle about it. It was funny. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But yeah, it was Kardashians. It was Real Housewives. I've watched which all of them. I, I know. really have to be honest with you. I watched Real Housewives of Orange County when I was a single guy with my roommate. <laughs> the two of us would sit and watch it. Wow! 
Yeah. What about Vanderpump wow. Rules? I have watched that because my <laughs> ex-wife watched it. Um, oh, Wendy. and um, what's the one on the on the ship? Oh, oh, what's it called? I tried to show you that one. I've watched a few yes, episodes. Yes, that one was kind of good. I don't I didn't remember mind what that it's one. called. Uh, it's not shipwreck. No, no like, it's not overboard. Uh, no. Overboard, all aboard. I don't know. Dang. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah no. Look, he's going to Google it right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to Google it. <laughs> um, what are you going to look for? I'll go reality. On ship? Show. On ship. Let's see what we get. Um, cruise ship? Is that no, what no, that's not it. The, the ship's ship? not it. Below, Below deck. deck. Yeah, that's, that's the one. It is. Yeah. Below, Below deck. deck, where it's just a, basically a bunch of... <laughs> Sex crazy. Exactly. Yeah, they're just trying to get. <laughs> they're sex crazed food workers. Yeah. You know, because food workers are sex crazed anyway. Yeah, yeah. If you've ever worked in the restaurant <laughs> business, now you just take it and you confine it with right. a bunch of beautiful people, like eight of you on a boat. <laughs> yeah. No one you know, away. Yeah, now yeah. you're in a beautiful location with oh, beautiful yeah. people on a ship making yeah. good money. Yeah. And you dock, and it's like, well, what am I going to do now? I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to have sex to, yeah. with beautiful people. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, what? There's a camera there. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> no. no one cares. Nobody cares on no. these reality shows. No. And I got to be honest, if I had a reality show, I wouldn't get. I'd probably go two for shits. It. I'd probably be like this guy in the camera all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. Yeah. laughs> Nobody wants to watch a reality show of me. I no. can tell you that. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, my God. So let's talk uh, comedy show now. So you do the show. Is it once a month? It's every, the last Sunday of every month. Last Sunday of yeah, every month. Yeah, going back to shitty nights of comedy. Right? Oh, Sunday, Sunday night. Yeah. 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 But, you know... The owners of the 55 Windbreak are friends of mine. I graduated high school with one of them. Um, the other one I worked with up to, I mean, around 20 years ago at Cactus Pete's and Jackpot. Yeah. Um, the other owner and my girlfriend are like best friends. So they are, they actually came to me to do the show. Yeah. You know, once they found out I was doing all these open mics. And mm. unfortunately, in Twin Falls, you do music open mics to do comedy. Oh, okay. once once uh, Casey's open mic stopped, uh, it was it's basically just music open mics there. Oh, wow. and we had a couple of places to do it now, but there's only one now. The Cove, uh, we had Yellow Brick to do it. We had the Cove. Um, <clears throat> the Windbreak was doing one for a while. They stopped, and um, and so now the only open mic you have in Twin Falls to do comedy really is the Cove, which is a couple blocks from my house. And, mm-hmm. Um, it's a music open mic. Music open mic. It's buddy. a music open mic, and I crash it. I don't give a Every, shit. Is it just you doing comedy at that one? No. Or? Um, me so what and what does that mean? Music open mic. Uh, for musicians. For yeah. musicians. Oh. Uh, Riley Hoy and I will go. I don't know if you've heard of Riley no. Hoy. Uh, Riley Hoy. He was actually. Let me get. Let me see if I can get the day right. He was Boise's best comedian. I want to say it was last year. Mm-hmm. Um, gosh, when was it? September or something? Last year, maybe it was the year before. But he he won Boise's best mm-hmm. comedian. Um, Riley Hoy does. He's um featuring my show tonight. Um, he has been on my show quite a few times. He lives in Twin. Uh, does a lot of stuff in Boise. Uh, he and I have, are working on a couple other projects right mm-hmm. now in Twin Falls. Uh, very talented. He looks like a twelve-year-old boy <laughs> um, with a mouth of a you know fifty-year-old yeah. trucker. <laughs> it's fantastic. It works. Yeah. Uh, Riley's great. Um, yeah. No, you see the two of us out together. It's definitely an odd couple. You know, it's you got. I definitely look like an old guy. You know. And, yeah. And then you got Riley, and, and no shit, he's like twenty. Two or three, and look he looks twelve. Uh, he wow. just looks like a twelve-year-old boy. I I look weird walking around with him. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a strange like dynamic. Yeah. yeah, what's up with this guy? Is either your kid or, <laughs> or some weird yeah. going on. <laughs> yeah. So last Sunday of the month, um, we do it there, and I usually I'll open and host, mm-hmm. or I'll just you know do a little set and I'll host. And um, for my openers, I try to use. Uh, locals as much as possible Mm -hmm. as small as that pool is yeah um i've only had maybe four four local openers 
in the entire time I've done this show. And it's, it's just, there's just not a lot of, of, uh, comedians in twin falls area yeah. that to get a hold of and do shows. Um, so, you know, we were talking earlier. So what happens is I end up, you know, I was at an open mic at the Cove and a friend of mine did a set, um, a comedy set. She was hilarious. She just told the story, but the way she told it mm-hmm. was, was great. It was, yeah. you know, it wasn't like, I'm just getting here telling you a story. It was the way she told it was perfect. And so I said, Hey, you know, you want to open my next show? And so she ended up opening my next show and she killed. She just killed. As a matter of fact, I had to, I had to light her, which I'm not, (laughs) I, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a like, look, here's your minimum Mm. time, you know? And other than that, just let it go. Do your thing. But uh, yeah, no, I had to, I had to kind of, I had to light her because oh, I mean, she was okay. just on a roll. She was going yeah. and it was fantastic. It was so cool to see cause she's a friend of mine and, um, she just, uh, she just killed it. She just killed it. That's Courtney cool. Bunce. Courtney Bunce. Courtney Bunce. Uh, she just, she works at Walmart Yeah, and just have, you know, she's just funny uh, in oh. general. And so, um, you know, some people you watch and you're just like, wow. You yeah, know, wow, yeah. that was that was just natural. Mm-hmm. She yeah. got on stage. She had a natural presence. Uh, she was wow. comfortable. She, she, her jokes were delivered well. Um, mm. You know, it was just like, damn, that was really good. Yeah. So I booked her again for my last show. She did a, a, another fantastic job. Yeah. You know, um, I try to do a couple of do a couple of shows and then move on to somebody else as an opener. I try to mix it up. Yeah, you know, um, so. Um, that's kind of what I've been doing this whole time is, you know, yeah. local people as an opener. And then I bring up my features and my headliners from Boise. Sweet. Now has this, uh, this girl, has she continued to do comedy or? Well, the last, this last show, uh, January was her second show. December okay. was her first show. They were both my shows. Okay. And so, but she, she's get, I think she's moving. And so to organs, but I think she plans on, carrying on now oh, that no. she's oh, wow. now that she's gotten on stage and she's got yeah. a feel for it and yeah. you know and 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 found out like holy crap i can do this mm-hmm. and that's really what it is like that confidence yeah you know when you when you do something when you do it and it's like oh wow i can actually do this Dang. you know that's how it was for me is i got up i did that very first open mic and the reception was really well wow. for people who are getting ready to leave yeah, you know, and other people that were doing exactly. comedy, the other comedians that were there came up and they, and they were like, "Man, that was really good." And, really? Wow. and and had some feedback and and it was just like, "Oh, that was it." I was just like, I was hooked. Oh, it's yeah. like, "Ah, oh, hooked. I'm, this yeah. is it. I love this." Yeah. I was high on life for I mean a week after that. Yeah. I was just like, "Oh my gosh, that was the yeah. greatest thing that's ever I've ever done. It was freeing." Wow. You know, it felt so good to like the laughs. Yes. And and you know, the it goes well for a minute and then you have a, a bad show mm-hmm. and, and you kind of get knocked down mm-hmm. a, a bit and that's okay. That's yeah. You know, it. it's part of it. They're not all, yeah. all, all going to be winners. Yeah. And that's really honestly how I sift through my material mm-hmm. is I'll go and I'll, I'll, I'll just, like I said, I kind of just wing a lot of my stuff. And so I'll come up with an idea, I'll wing it. Okay. Well, that delivery was terrible. Next time I do it, Try I'll try this, this. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so you know, and, and just try to hone it in. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's it's a process. Anything's a, anything worth doing is a process. Yeah, yeah. comedy, definitely. music, anything, anything, casting. <laughs> Yeah, podcasting. Yeah. I I wouldn't even know where to start. This is you this know? is amazing to me that like yeah. like we're we're just chilling here at yeah. your place and and we're you know yeah. people are gonna see this yeah. and. Uh, it's crazy to me. I, yeah. I, I'm not a tech guy, so. Me yeah, neither. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not. And me a little bit, but yeah, I learned how to do all this online. Yep. Honestly, me on too. YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, lots of tutorials. Mm-hmm. We, I've kicked around the thought of doing a podcast with yeah. a couple of people. Yeah. It's fun. Uh, because I have some friends that are funny naturally, and the two mm-hmm. of them, you know, we'll get together and have yeah. a couple of drinks, and it's like. Yeah, you know it's nonstop banter. Exactly. You know, it's, yep. this is funny, and then, yeah, you know. But the problem is, 
you know, when you do try to start something with somebody that you don't have constant contact with, yeah, yeah, it, it's really tough because they have their things going on in their life. You have your things going yeah. on in life, and yeah, you know, trying to get those two pieces to fit together, yeah, once tough. a week or once a month, even sometimes is really hard. Yeah, you know, really yeah, is. Definitely. So it's just never really happened. And Lord knows, I don't have time to sit down and try to put together a podcast. Um, I just it don't sounds like you have a lot going. I, yeah. Yeah. If, if I'm not, if I don't, if I'm not busy, I'm dead. Yeah. yeah. I, and I've literally had people tell me, I, how many jobs do you have? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah. I, I mean, this winter I was doing the DJ thing. I'm delivering pizzas. Oh, dang. At yeah. Idaho pizza in twin falls. I'm wow. delivering pizzas a couple nights a week. I'm, uh, you know, if, if work comes up, I grab it, yeah. you know, I got yeah. a family, got to. I got to support. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, luckily 90% of my, 90% of my income this, this year was made on a microphone or oh, this wow. winter was made on a microphone, which That's is good. wonderful. Yeah. I'd much rather sit behind a table with a computer and, and a microphone. Exactly. And, yeah. You know, make 150 yeah. bucks and actually <laughs> go out and work for it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Jeez. So what's the name of the venue in Twin Falls? It's 50 Whistleblower 55. It's a 55 Windbreak. Oh, I said Whistleblower. whistleblower. <laughs> so it used to be uh, it used to be called the Windbreak years ago. Mm. And then it was the Press Box. And uh the new owners bought it and they wanted to kind of pay homage to it and they went with 55 Windbreak. 55 Windbreak. It's a, it's a it's a bar straight out. Yeah. It, it's certainly not, you know, they they do like live music on Fridays and Yeah. Um they'll do during the summer, they'll do uh, DJs out on the patio and karaoke on the inside. Karaoke is kind of the main bread and butter in Twin Falls. Yeah, uh, we get people that come in during the comedy shows and don't give two shits so that we're doing a comedy show. They just want us to hurry the fuck up and get out of the way yeah. so that they can do karaoke. Is that after your show? That's yeah. during. That's during my yeah. The karaoke's right after the show. They start oh, okay. right after. Yeah. And so we get tables of people there that are essentially they're just waiting for karaoke for us to get the hell out of the way. What you're doing? Yeah, wrap up your funny business and yeah. get get out so we can sing our songs poorly. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that's one of the challenges of. Yeah, you said it's a tough room to do comedy. It's in a very tough room, and I think anybody that I've had on will tell you that. Uh, you, yeah, you've had a couple of the people. I mean, Nate yeah. and Eric uh, have both been up there, yeah. and they've both come on. Eric's had good night and Eric's had a bad night. Mm. Um, and so the great night, the good night was, I mean, we had a packed house. I think that night, that first time that Eric came on, we were packed. It was like standing room and it was a great crowd, oh, cool. um, receptive crowd. And then he came back and it was just a shit crowd <laughs> <laughs> and it was tough. And he, he, he let loose on some people, you wow. know, and rightfully so. You know, yeah. Not that it helped, but it, I think it made him feel better. <laughs> Yeah, it made me feel better. Yeah. I was just like, God, that's great because you yeah. know I'm usually the guy that's walking around being like, Hey, we're doing a show. Yeah, you know, can you? Because it's my show. I feel obligated to kind of yeah keep people engaged or or check people when they're not acting right. Yeah, you know, and it's not the popular job, but it's the job. Yeah, you know, yeah. like hey, listen, be. you're you really need to sit, quit. I had to check a, a buddy, you know, and he was heckling nonstop. He was drunk as shit. Mm-hmm. He knows what it's like to be at a show because he's been at my shows multiple times. But this particular time, he was really drunk, and I, yeah. you know, I'm like, "Hey, that's enough, man. Uh, yeah. you know, you've, you either you either you you shut up or you go find somewhere else to be. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, it's not. I'm not. I don't hate you, but yeah. this guy's up here. He drove all the way up here to to do his art for you. Yeah, and, and you can't shut up mm-hmm. and let him do it, and that's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bar or not. You know, if you're sitting in the front table, and he was, and you're nonstop talking, yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, and so, definitely. yeah, unfortunately, that's the. But the most of the guys that come up, and I usually try to warn people. Yeah. Hey, listen. It's tough. We got some hecklers, um, <laughs> and I don't mind hecklers personally. I think that some of my best work comes out of dealing with hecklers. Yeah. Because I'm kind of an on the spot guy, mm-hmm. um, but I warn them. Hecklers, you're going to deal with, you know, during the winter, we were dealing with football, Sunday night football. Yeah. Um, you know, you're dealing with darts, dart league. 
<laughs> you know, the tail end of Dart League, oh, and they're right geez. next to the stage. I mean, they are right <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> next to the stage. I'm not shitting you. They, you're like, here's the stage. Yeah. And they're right there shooting darts. Wow. You know, and, and a lot of them, the dart players aren't too bad because they'll... They'll, they enjoy the show, I think. A lot of times they'll, they're they a little more respectful. Yeah. Um, but, you know, but yeah, that's unfortunately the things we have to deal with in Twin Falls to get a show, you know? And I, yeah. I go to places and I'm like, hey, let's do a comedy show. And, well, you know, let's talk in like three months. And, yeah. and in the meantime, they're booking, you know, a band every week. Yeah. You know, and I can put on a show for way less than they're paying the band. Mm-hmm. You know, way less than I'm paying. They're paying the band. I can do a show. Um, but, you know, music up there is what rules. Yeah. Um, not comedy. It's really yeah. tough up wow. there. And when you're when you're a guy trying to basically hone his entire skill. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. In a town like that, it's hard. You know, you're basically the comedy scene there pretty much right now, right? Yeah. You and your show. My show is essentially it. Um, Riley did put on a show um, uh, at a place called Rock Creek. Um, It was me, him, um, Alicia Harris, Mm -hmm. Nate Ford, Casey Hunt. Um, That was one other guy, one other kid. And he's he's down here now. He's doing ridiculous. Uh, Jack Turnage. I haven't seen him yet. Oh my goodness! Oh, wait, is he the redhead? Yes, he's yes. ridiculous. Oh, we get to see him. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. So, him. so there's a there's a there's a few people in life you come across in any business, whether it be music, comedy, acting, anything, and you watch them and you just have no words. <laughs> yeah. To me, Jack Turnage is one yeah. of those guys. He, I saw him and I just, I mean, I was like floored. Yeah. It's it was just so natural. Yeah. And if you. Go see him. Yeah. And he's yeah. not even 21 yet, I don't think. Oh, really? Which is wow. why which is why I had an issue booking him because I instantly mm-hmm. wanted to book him. I wanted him I wanted him at my venue. I mean, yeah. like that. I wanted him there now. Yeah. And he was at 21. So doing it in a bar, it's like, okay, yeah, he can come in, but he's got to walk in, do his set, mm-hmm. walk out, he's oh, done. Wow. Yeah. And which is kind of a challenge because, yeah. you know, after you do a set, you're feeling good you want to hang out you know you want to talk to the people you're with Mm -hmm. yeah jack turnage um uh, one wow i was blown away Mm -hmm. i really just talented and he's so young Mm -hmm. yeah you know and he just really he had uh, he had that thing you know yeah you you see people all the time and you're like they're funny they're great because i'm a fan of a lot of comedians down here i nate ford and eric cole and yeah um i do like casey hunt's comedy Mm -hmm. um uh, these guys come up and it's like, wow, you know, uh, yeah, this is great. And it, a benefit for me putting on these shows as a guy who's trying to learn, a, learn my skill, learn, you know, hone my skill is I get to be exposed to a lot of different styles of comedy. Mm-hmm. I get yeah. to be exposed to a lot of different people and, and delivery and, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. uh, stage presence and all these things. Yeah, and it's like, different. yeah, everybody's got their own style. And mm-hmm. so I get to be exposed every month. Yeah. to all these different people and all these different styles. And I, um, I get to kind of pick and choose what I like from those and maybe try to try to put the, be, make that a part of what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's really nice. Yeah. Uh, honestly, as hard as it is in Twin Falls doing what I'm doing, it's nice to have the fact that I get to be around so many talented comedians yeah. coming up from, cause Boise, holy cow. I mean, just in the time that I've started this show in Twin Falls and started bringing people up, and now, I mean, it's just the scene has just exploded yeah, with talented we are people. Amazed. Yeah, we just recently started following the local comedy scene, mm-hmm. but you know, we've I've always been a fan of stand up and everything. But yeah, there's a so many shows. <laughs> there's, and there's so many, so many so comedians. Many awesome Jason, yeah. Jason Ward, um, Haley Lynn Hartwees. Wow, J- mm. Haley Lynn Hart Weiss is funny. I've seen her name, yeah. Uh-huh. The Boys um, of comedy I've, she's fans. been up twice. I actually featured. I had her as it was a Big D Comedy presents Haley Lynn Hart Weiss because uh, I liked her so yeah. much the first time she came up. She did such a good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, Emmanuel Veta, uh, he did my very first show. O- uh, Oleg Shevchek. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I know. Him. Yeah, gosh, yeah. Oleg, I actually saw. Um, it was him and Moon Deck. Um, at a place called Diamonds in Jerome, 
uh, mm-hmm. for a Valentine's comedy show. Really? Summer and I, this is why I have a wonderful yeah. woman. I said, babe, I'm going to take you to a comedy show on yeah. Valentine's yeah. Day nice. to scout people yeah. to put on my show. Yeah. You know, she said, great, awesome. great. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I had Boondack and Olick were the comedians there. Oh, cool. And I've had them both on and, uh, they were both great. And Moondeck, mm-hmm. I was such a fan of instantly. Moondeck, uh, I don't Moondeck, know. Clement mm-hmm. Stein. Mm-hmm. He does comedy here. He does comedy in Vegas. And crazy talented dude. Long hair, you know. He's kind of a little edgy and, mm-hmm. you know, like. But he's super talented. And I was uh, I was so excited for that show. I booked him, finally. Yeah. Six months took yeah. me to book him. Yeah. I booked him. I'm excited to get him on. And flop of a show oh wow. just oh, nobody showed okay. and i was so disappointed yeah. because i wanted everybody to see this oh, guy yeah. that i was such a fan of because yeah. i'm a fan of of moon deck mm-hmm. um i wanted so bad yeah you know yeah. uh that that oh it is yeah it's yeah. let down <laughs> yeah it's a yeah, montana burke's another one like that montana burke to me is is just crazy talented and funny and mm-hmm. he's been on my show a couple of times he was on my very first show and uh recently had him back up with Olick. and um gosh montana's just he's fantastic have you seen montana i know no. i haven't uh-uh. yet no. you guys need to get out boy. yeah we do you live here what is I going know. on i know if, if i was down here i swear yeah. to you i'd be out constantly Every night. yes yeah. i would be uh-huh. out uh, well, it was within recent. Yeah. yeah. A couple of times a week. Yeah. I, like, yeah, I got yeah. kids, yeah. you know, so. But being in Twin Falls, I see all these crazy good shows and I'm like, oh, yeah. I know yeah. these guys, yeah, you know, like yeah. I want to be, I want to be there so bad yes. and I can't be there. You know, yeah. I'm stuck up here two hours away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I got to bring them up. That's yes. what I got to do. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I bring them up and I'm like, all right, let's try this person out, yeah. you know, and, and, uh, and, and what's nice is like, um, I'll get people up and they'll recommend other people. Perfect. Sweet. Yeah. You know, have you had so and so up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I have not, but I'm going to reach out. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. this, this is wonderful. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Yeah. I love it how everybody helps everybody. Yeah. You know, tries to get the names out. And, and to- also, we get out plenty. What? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no, as far as the local comedy scene, we just started getting yeah, into that. Yeah, we just started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, We've, we've been like traveling, or you know, um, to see. you know, I mean, we have our favorites. I mean, we've saw Joe Rogan when he came. We saw Tom Segura, Ari, Tony Hinchcliffe, yeah, Ari Shafir. Yeah. We go to a lot of shows, traveled for shows and yeah. stuff. So we have a yeah. week planned in L.A. In Hollywood, to go to yeah, the, we're oh, going. Yeah, comedy store. Nice. in yeah, May, we're going to L.A. for that's a all week. we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did travel to Portland to see Rodney Carrington. Oh, so. nice. Oh, did you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I was in Portland and it, well, we kind of made the trip about going to see Rodney Carrington. Uh-huh. I'm a huge Rodney fan. Nice. So, yeah. uh, yeah, we, I did go, I did travel. I, yeah. I, I, I did travel to see a show. That was my, that was my first show. Actually. My first comedy show was, uh, oh, really Rodney Carrington and yeah. it was wonderful. Oh, that's cool. It was, it was great and not great at the same time because oh, the, the, not great. the fans, Really? Well, because he's got the t- the song "Titties and Beer," "Titties uh, and Beer." Oh yeah. So through the whole show, you got these jackass cowboys yelling "Titties and Beer," <laughs> yeah. "Titties and Beer" through his whole set. Oh, yeah. So and he, you know, he was, and he's like, "Calm down, motherfuckers! I'll get to it." Right. Yeah. You know, right. like I'm, so. Yeah. And, but I was so impressed with him because he finally got to the point because he does he does a stand up portion, then he does the musical portion, and so he got to the musical portion. And he's playing his new stuff, like new yeah. stuff he's come out with, and and then he's, you know, of course, all these guys, titties and beer. It's all you hear through the whole fucking show, <laughs> titties and beer. And I'm like, you know, if yeah. I was that, if I was him, I'd yeah. be so annoyed right now. Yeah. And he handled it like a champ, but he sang the first verse of the song and moved on. Oh, gotcha. Wow. The first yep. verse. Now, if they would have just shut up, yeah, yeah. I think we would have gotten the whole song. Probably. But probably, guess what? Yeah. You yeah. you guys couldn't shut your mouths, mm-hmm. sit this back and enjoy get. the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had to you had to keep yelling it at him. So now it's a thing. Mm-hmm. You've made it a thing. Yeah. And so guess what? Now we only get part of a song and we move on to something else. <laughs> yeah. right. Good on Rodney. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know <laughs> to to do that because I think Kinda, it was great. Yeah. Teach him yeah. a lesson. I was a little annoyed because I wanted to hear. I love well, that yeah. song too. Who doesn't love titties and beer? I mean, if you haven't heard titties I and beer, I haven't heard it. Well, then you need to get on and you need to get titties and beer, Rodney Carrington. 
Um, if he doesn't find it right now, we're oh, gonna drop it's on it there. In. It's on there. It's a very popular song. I'll bet you it has a ton of plays. I'll bet you it's, it's got millions because it's it's great. Ronnie's Ronnie's a wonderful comedian. I'm sure our podcast listeners are finding this riveting right now. <laughs> I was just going to show it live. Yeah. This is an old, I mean, he's fat. It was the first thing he said when he came out in Portland. He goes, don't, don't adjust your eyes, motherfuckers. I'm this fat. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> Adjusted it right off. Yeah. He just addressed it right off the bat. <laughs> Uh, podcast <laughs> listeners, if you're watching right now, uh, go on your computer and search this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Watch along with us. Yeah. It's great. All right, we'll watch this later. Yeah. And and I, and and you, know, you know what he did as a genius, also a genius thing is during the entire song is as uh, women will flash their tits. Oh, so he's created a thing. Yeah. Now it's a thing. You yeah. know, you go to a care and it happened at the Portland show. Yeah, it happened to the Portland show. Boom. He, uh, another, he has another song called "Show, show Me Your Titties." Your, yeah, I thought I'd heard, show me heard your, of that. Show one. me your yeah. titties or show me your boobs. <laughs> yeah. And they do. That guy's a genius. <laughs> right. That guy is a genius. He goes to every city around the nation and gets to see boobs at every show <laughs> and get paid. Well, yeah. who doesn't love boobs? I mean, <laughs> right. I mean, even yeah. women love boobs. <laughs> Straight or gay, they love them. Everybody loves boobs. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know I've always been a fan. I don't know. <laughs> ever, ever since birth. <laughs> ever since birth. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> boobs. Boob. Yeah. Some yeah. hype for boobs. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> yeah. Who's your uh, biggest, big, biggest, biggest, biggest uh, comedy influences? Like, who's your, uh, who's your favorite? My, my idol would be David Tell. David Tell. Mm, okay. David Tell. Yeah. Uh, we used to watch the Up All Night or. David Tell, After Dark, or mm -hmm. I used to watch yeah. that, and just I thought it was the greatest thing ever. I was like, man, yeah, I could live that life. You go out, <laughs> you tell some dirty jokes, um, and then you just roam the city, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then you know, because after a show, you're show, hyped. Yeah. yeah, you know, you're hyped after a show. Yeah. So even my shows, I get done, oh, and I'm yeah, just I'm, you're I'm, I'm amped, yeah. you know, and especially when it's good. And mm -hmm. so then it's like. Yeah, going home isn't an option. It's just you yeah. know, you're just you you're too you're too uh, up. You're yeah. too amped up to yeah. to go. So, I thought is that what comedians do? Mm -hmm. Because that was long before I ever thought about doing comedy. I'm like, is that yeah. what they do? They go do a show and then they just roam around the city all night. <laughs> right. That's a great gig. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> and he had it. I mean, if you think about it, he went to a city. They paid him to do a set. And then they paid him to roam around the city after the set, yeah, and hang out and check shit out yeah. at every city he was in. I yeah. he was making money no matter what he was doing, and his comedy is funny. Yeah. David Tell yeah. is funny. Yeah. The the bumping mics. Oh, I know. Oh, That's mics, hilarious. Yeah. It's all off the cuff. I love it. This is yeah. yeah him yeah. and Jeff Ross are oh, amazing. Jeff oh, yeah. Ross is yeah. just he's the king. Yes. Of yeah. I mean, Roasting. Uh, yeah, of off the cuff. Yeah. No, no, I don't think there's a comedian out there. No, he's so that fast. can be as yeah. quick as Jeff Ross. Yeah. I mean, he's just so funny. Um, so David Tell definitely was probably is probably my number one. I was yeah. telling you guys. If if I could open for David Tell, oh yeah, my comedy career is done. I'm done. <laughs> right. I'm done. Call it quits. I'm over. Yeah. I'm done. I, I've, I've hit the pinnacle uh, of, of what amazing. I'm going to do. You know, I don't expect to sell out stadiums and you know anything like or, or even travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't expect to really headline a show anytime soon. It's not my scope of what I have. Your, you know what? I'm a realist. A list or? I'm a realist. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm. I'm real with where I'm at now in my career with comedy. I know where I'm at. Mm -hmm. uh, my first goal is to feature a show that's not mine. Mm -hmm. That would be a first goal. I'll work on yeah. that. Mm -hmm. You know, and and we'll we'll get to that point. Mm -hmm. You know, when we get to that point, I, I think I think a, lot, a mistake a lot of people make when they produce a show is they go, "Well, I can just do it all. I'm great. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm the best there is. I can." Yeah. I knew from the start that I knew, mm -hmm. you know, I'm at least yeah. humble enough to know that um, I'm not at the place to headline a show. Mm -hmm. I'm not at a place to feature a show. I'm good to host a show. What's the show. difference between headline and feature? A time. Oh, okay. Time, really. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for my shows, 
I asked for 20 minutes minimum for a feature, mm-hmm. 40 minutes minimum for a headliner. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Doesn't sound like a lot. It's a lot. But that's a lot. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah I know. It sounds that like a lot to us. A, an opener. I can't imagine. You know, you oh, yeah. figure the difference between 10 minutes, a, t- a solid 10 minute opening, mm-hmm. and a 20 minute feature spot is a oh, lot of yeah. content. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of thought. It's a lot mm-hmm. of work. Yeah. Um, I respect every single person that comes up and they can just whip out a feature spot, even a spe- feature spot. You yeah. know, it's like, wow. Cause I don't have that kind of time put together. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, that's something I'm working on. So, yeah. you know, um, and it takes years, doesn't it? Uh, you know, to be a solid headliner, mm-hmm. I think it takes a lot of time. Yeah. You know, I think what did, what did Nate say? He was in this 13 years or something? Yeah. No, he's, yeah, he's been doing it 20, I think. 20, yeah. 20 yeah. years. I think, Eric, 99. I think yeah. Eric Cole is like 13 yeah. years okay. or something. But, you know, these guys have put some time in. Yeah. yeah. They, they, have, they have done the tours. They've mm-hmm. done the shows. They've put the time in. And, and, you know, and I have nothing but respect for what they're doing because, mm-hmm. I mean, they've put the time in. You yeah. know, and that's, yeah. I hope maybe one day in 13 years, I could be there. Maybe in 10 years, I could be in the spot where, mm-hmm. you know, I'm comfortable enough to do 40 minutes. But I mean, you think about that. I know. It's a lot. <laughs> 20, yeah. 20 years of a career to do 45 minutes or an yeah. hour. It is amazing. To get an hour. Yeah. You've put 20 years hour. of your life. I yeah. mean, and I've had musician friends tell me, hey, dude. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> you <know? laughs> really? And I'm just like, what? Yeah. You know, these yeah. are guys traveling all over the United States doing music and they're yeah. telling me I don't I respect what you're doing. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. Wow. And I'm yeah. like, what? Like, <laughs> dude, you're you're actually yeah. doing it. You're out there touring. Like yeah. you've got you know, I got a I got a friend uh, Spike Coggins. He plays down here, he plays he plays everywhere. He's all over the place. He's a road warrior. Uh-huh. He plays kind of old timey railroad music. Uh, he's got a stomp box, he plays harmonica, yeah. oh, he plays cool. guitar. He plays banjo. He, I mean, you name it, this dude plays the instrument. And uh, you know, he told me one day after a show, he said, "Man, I got, I really respect what you do. Like, I don't know how you do it. Get mm-hmm. up there, just you and a microphone talking. Yeah, like it's I know. crazy. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, I was pretty flattered at that because I'd only done a like a ten minute set, you mm-hmm. know, that night. Mm-hmm. And he kind of threw me on the spot. It was on 420 uh. and Hagerman." Um, I wasn't planning on doing a set. I went down. My roommate is actually a musician and he was on the show with Spike and, um, Spike came to me and said, so you're doing a set, right? And I go, dude, uh, I just came down to support, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just here to support you guys. And he's like, okay, great. So you're up after, <laughs> you're oh, wasn't even an option. I'm like, well, oh, it's man. 420. So I guess we're getting pot I'll jokes tonight. <laughs> I did. I did a good solid, like 10, 15 minutes of, uh, you know, pot jokes. Perfect. And I just got back from work in Salt Lake. And so it was like the difference between like differences between Idaho and Salt Lake, basically how Idaho is more strict mm-hmm. yeah. than Salt Lake City on things, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and also how weird something laws were in Utah. And and so it, it killed. It, oh, it just killed. Nice. It was a oh, wow. packed, nice. packed bar and it killed. Mm-hmm. And it was like, you know. I'm up here, yeah, and I'm just like, oh, and everybody's like, great job, and you're just like, <laughs> I'm the greatest comedian <laughs> right now. Yeah. yeah, I've had moments like that skiing where I yeah. get down to the bottom and I go, I think I'm an Olympic skier. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ready to headline That's shows right. now. I got this. I'm the yeah. greatest there ever yes. was. Yeah, that How ten minutes that possible? <laughs> solidified my place in history in exactly. ten minutes. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever have like a great set and you're just like, damn, only 20 people heard this? No, I'll tell, <laughs> I don't know what I would do with over like 25, to be yeah. honest with you. I yeah. think the biggest crowd I've ever done comedy for was probably at that show. And there was probably about 40 people in that bar. Yeah. And that might have been my biggest show. I think my biggest show in Twin Falls, uh, well, it was pretty packed. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was probably about... 30 40 35 45 mm-hmm. right in there so yeah i've i don't i've never done a show for over 50 mm-hmm. um so i can't and, and i've never done a show for a crowd that was there for just comedy oh wow mm. so i've never done a show in a comedy club mm-hmm. or or even a venue where that show was just the just the only they thing were happening. only there to see a show yeah 
So that would be different for me, yeah. like not contending. I don't know what I would do with myself if I wasn't contending with football. <laughs> yeah. You know, or dart players right. or yeah. uh, some. Oh, you're paying attention uh, to me? Yeah, yeah. what? Right. Oh, shit, I'd better be on tonight. They're actually, they actually care what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. You know, you can skate by with a bar full of people who don't give a shit if you're there. <laughs> But uh, rough, you know though. when there's when the whole crowd's staring at you, yeah. waiting to yeah. laugh. That's that's a different beast yeah. altogether. So yeah, these guys down here are doing that five nights a week, six nights yeah. a week. Yeah. You know, that, they're grinding it out every night mm-hmm. down here in Boise. I, I'm nowhere near that. Mm-hmm. I, I wish. I wish I I was able to do that. Uh, unfortunately, where I live does not facilitate that Mm -hmm. and uh also my wallet does not facilitate me coming to boise yeah five nights a week with the overnights yeah yeah Yeah. with the family yeah Yeah. that's a lot it's it's really tough with Mm -hmm. the you know um you know and and, and in the summer when i have the money and that's you know i've got money in the summer busy i'm busy (laughs) i don't have i don't have time i just (laughs) you know even putting together the shows in the summer is hard because finding that time, because yeah. I work sun up to sundown every mm-hmm. night, and sundown oh, wow. is you know nine thirty ten o'clock. Yeah. I'm rolling in, parking my trailer, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm exhausted. And, and yeah. at the same time, I've got to get on my phone. I've got to you know uh, set up comedians. I've got to put together posters, mm-hmm. and I've got to um, get with a bar owner and 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 put these things and do the advertising. And that's a lot. You know, it's yeah. In the summer, it gets. I almost get to a fuck it point. Mm-hmm. Midsummer, where I'm just like, like too much. God, this is just, I got too much of my plate. Yeah, yeah. But it's something I love, and so I just keep doing Push it. Push through. I love it. Yeah, you know, it allows me to do something I, I normally wouldn't get to do. Mm-hmm. So you know, you you make the sacrifices. Yeah. And you and you do the you, you you make the time. Yeah. You know, you make the time to do the things you love. Yeah. We all have to. Whether mm-hmm. no matter what it is, we all have to make the time. Right. Yeah. Whether you're tired. You or you got to get up early, or it's late, or yeah. whatever. I know you find a way. Uh, you find yeah, a way. we always there. do. You yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. No, it's yeah. That's just if what it's you do. Important. Yeah, we've realized doing this podcasting just to yeah, we're like, oh, it's to, a full time job. Try to grow it. Yeah, it's in like addition having another to a full time job. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's so much to it. There is. You, know, that you there, don't there, realize. There's booking the people. All the background. I mean, look stuff. what we went through just to get for, <laughs> yeah. for me to get here. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm glad that you're you're feeling better. Oh, I'm thank glad you. that you're yeah. great. Yes. You know, it was yeah. like, hey, you know, I'm in. I know. We had this medical thing, awful. and I'm like, hey, yeah. take care of you. <laughs> Yeah, Thank me you. talking on a microphone is no big deal. Yeah. We can do that anytime. You know? Take that. care of yourselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, take care of you. I know. Uh, I was so bummed when I had to reschedule yeah, a couple. Of those. I was like, yeah. damn it! Like, if I get out of the hospital on this day, we can do them still. Like, Dude, and she's like, no, slow yeah. her down. No, you gotta, yeah. you gotta. Yeah. If you don't take care of yourself, you're yeah. no good to anybody. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that's just the bottom line. And it's two things: your health and your family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, those come first, no matter what. And if and if you're one of those is out yeah. everything out. else everything else matter. can just yeah. wait yeah. and it will yeah yeah i waited <laughs> I, know, yeah. I waited i was like gosh i hope everything's going all right <laughs> yeah i sure would like to do my first podcast it's it yeah 10 you know, months of I, crap. yeah oh yeah. god nightmare yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. here we, we made it work we did you know, we made, but yeah. you know you guys gotta you gotta get people yeah, get them lined out. You yeah. got to work well, around the schedule. Well, even just learning all the YouTube stuff, all the Reaper stuff has been. Yeah, just the production Holy of it moly. too. Yeah, and putting out video clips. And oh yeah, to stuff promote for Instagram and stories, and yeah, it oh, is like learning kinda... Instagram stories. Mm. <laughs> that was yeah. a thing. <laughs> yeah, so. Instagram's a thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't know how long it took me to figure out what the little paper airplane up in the corner. <laughs> oh was yeah, for. yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm scared to push. Stuff that's your messages yeah. you might uh, yeah. want to push those <laughs> yeah those are kind of important kind of important yeah. of course on mine i always get notifications and i'm like oh i wonder who messaged me and i click on it it's like someone i don't even know <laughs> yeah yeah they just messaged me i made this for you and i'm afraid to click it because i think it's i think it's spam or a virus yeah, or right. something yeah. you don't so even awesome. know me how did you make it for me <laughs> yeah this is, no something's wrong here yeah yeah no i'm i yeah no technology and i are yeah i'm right there i need a you. i need a technology person that's mm-hmm. what i need i need a yeah. Find somebody that can help me with these things because I am just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> just dumb when it comes to most yeah. of it, you know. Usually it's a kid. A kid knows. A kid. Uh, my son. Yeah. I should yeah. have my son do it. Mm-hmm. 
you or know, just hours of online research yeah, like and videos. You, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's another thing you can do. You can you know get on YouTube yep. anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I YouTube and Google everything. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Google is my best friend. If I <laughs> yeah. pulled out my phone right now, there's literally probably thirty Googles today. That was nice. one of our sec- segments. Oh yeah, we googled what? Yeah. So, <laughs> it was like so you what's googled. some weird shit you've googled lately? <laughs> Oh, I don't Google weird. I Google like <laughs> oh, oh, not weird stuff. <laughs> I Google things that are like I need to know right now. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, like uh, like today I was Googling yard sales in Boise. Yeah, oh, nice. Um, you know, last night I was Googling things to do in Boise mm-hmm. because we we're down here. This is what we came down. This is why I was. Uh, this podcast was actually scheduled around me going to a rock and gem show with my mother. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> my mother nice. and my stepfather. They uh, live in Boise? No, they live in Twin. We, oh, all, live okay. in, we all live together in Twin. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. uh, we, all live in, we all live in a big house together. Mm-hmm. Um, and my mom is, is, makes jewelry, and um, she loves these rock and gem shows. And my girlfriend loves these rock and gem Perfect. shows. My 12-year-old son loves these rock and gem Perfect. shows. <laughs> S- me, I could give or take. I'm like, <laughs> all right, everybody loves them. It's a chance to get out of Twin for the weekend. Mm-hmm. I'm cool. That's yeah. The last one we did was in Idaho Falls. Um, but yeah, we. it's literally the whole reason we go to places is to go. <laughs> oh, to, there's a... We go to the Rock and Gem Show. It was at it was at the fairgrounds. Perfect. You know, so yeah. we booked. We left Friday night. We booked a room for uh, Friday Saturday night, and um, you know, we went to the Rock and Gem Show. We're there an hour, and the whole weekend was revolved around that one hour. <laughs> oh, geez, one, one hour. hour. Yeah, so yeah, we're like, yeah. I'm like, Killed I'm good. It. Yeah, I'm good. One hour of rocks. I've seen all the rocks now. We're Let's good. Get on with the rest. Yeah, of the yeah. Weekend. All the rocks are done. You know, we've we've uh, we've looked at them. Exactly. Yeah. There's only there there's, they are. Yeah, there's there's only so many star garnets I can look at. <laughs> I'm good. I can't buy them because they're expensive. Um, yeah. You know, but my son, he loves it. At- my yeah. son just wow. goes ape shit at these things. How old is he? He's twelve. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They don't have like the cheap bin where it's like twenty rocks for a dollar. They do. So okay. my son actually collects the the. They have a they have a rock and I can't think of it. Off the t- but it's magnetic. Mm-hmm. And they make little balls or squares and with them and and uh, you could, like at this one you could buy a bag of them for five bucks. Cool. And at every show he gets them. So he's got this massive glob of these magnetic rocks. Oh, wow. You know, oh, at, at this awesome. point over the course of like three or four shows that we've been to he's collected them up yeah and so every show we go to that's the first thing he's looking for is he's so Magnet. he can add to his collection yeah. yep. and then um at this particular one they had a wheel you could spin for a quarter and they had red yellow blue of every color and they had prizes on each space mm-hmm. and so yeah i think i think we dropped a few bucks on that thing <laughs> between between my son and my girlfriend because she was just yeah. as bad she's just oh, as bad um and so yeah no we you, you give him a quarter you spin the wheel and you win like a rock and you're just looking at it like pretty sure i saw that same rock at costco in the parking lot <laughs> yeah. pretty sure that one yeah did you did you get that at costco in the yeah. parking lot because right. i just yeah. paid a quarter for it yeah. you know and i could have just gone to costco and yeah. walked around the parking lot and found a cool rock yeah my mom would love that she always she has rocks would. in her pocket yeah she's always picking up rocks <laughs> yeah. we're, we're the same way yeah. i, I yeah. find myself picking up rocks now because oh, in the summer i i landscape and i also do spring and so i'm all over the place yeah and so I'll be in a, a driveway or something and I'll be looking down and be like, oh, that's a cool piece of obsidian and I'll pick it up and I'll stick it in my pocket and I'll give it to my son. You know, like, oh, Bennett will love that. And so, yeah, no, I'm, I've been, by proxy, I'm a rock hound uh, yeah. now. Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, we lived in a place, like I said, we moved around a lot and we lived on a ranch um, out in the middle of nowhere and outside of Ironside, Oregon. Mm. And Ironside itself is basically a trailer park Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and one building that had, um, the one building had the restaurant, bar, post office, um, oh gosh, uh, the gas station. Wow. Everything was in the one building, you know? And that was the town. That's Mm -hmm. essentially it. And then you drive 30 miles out of nowhere and that's where I lived. So my mom and I would walk around out in the desert, a uh, high desert, you know, mm-hmm. and we would agate hunt. Oh, nice. Hunt agates. Yeah. And you'd find them in arrowheads. Mm-hmm. Um, and you, they're everywhere. You know, you find them all out oh, wow. there in the middle of the desert. Oh, that's just, neat. You know, and so that was, that was what we did for fun, 
because mm-hmm. there was literally nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing else to do in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that was that was kind of where it started. Look for rocks. <laughs> Let's go look for agates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go look for agates, and here we are at gem sh- rock and gem shows yeah. now. Rock and gem. rock and gem shows. So yeah, it was like Those okay, are- well I'm gonna be in Boise. For this uh, rock and gem show, let's Perfect. You know, if we can make this work. I'm glad <laughs> yes. that we can make it work. Yeah, yeah. That's right. super glad that I could get down here and make this work. Yeah, that's too definitely uh, break my pop my podcast cherry. <laughs> podcast cherry, <laughs> yes. yes. Kaylin did also yeah. popped his podcast yeah. cherry. So. Tina, Tina Towns. I don't. She didn't say whether or not, oh. but uh, but I uh, know Kaylin ask. did. I know Nate's been on other podcasts. Yeah, he has yeah, been. Cause I Nate's done a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I yeah, actually think Nate years. opened for Dave Attell, which made me see. Really? Oh, really? I, I looked at, I, I want to say it was Nate. I think Nate opened for Dave Attell uh, once. What? I know. I told him. I said, dude, you basically just <laughs> you, achieved my dream. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. yeah. Have you uh, had LJ Sullivan up there? We I have just, not. We just saw oh, him funny. last he's, week. He's, he was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the big hair. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw him last and last week. He featured at the Crescent. Yeah, he was yeah. hilarious. Yeah, I'd like to get yeah. him up. I yeah. so as as a person in Twin Falls who's watching Boise comedians, like I, I'm on the I'm on the uh, the Facebook pages and mm-hmm. I, I'm watching all the shows and I'm yeah. you know watching the I, I have a lot of the I've friended a lot of them mm-hmm. comedians mm-hmm. here in Boise to see what they're doing. So I see you know the the guys or guys and girls that I've had up um, and then. The shows they're doing and who they're doing them with. Mm-hmm. I'm usually pretty well versed on what's going on down here. I, yeah. I probably could just shoot down here any night of the week and know exactly where to go to see who. Right. Yeah. Um, nice. It's kind of what I. That's like kind of my Facebook thing. thing now. Is yeah. I I spend a lot of time watching. It's creepy, kind of. <laughs> I'm watching you down there in Boise, <laughs> Boise. I'm people. watching you. Just tell me jokes because I'm watching you. Yeah. No, but I. That's it. As a promote, as a as a producer yeah, in Twin to. Falls, you you've got to know who's doing what. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So, and I tell them that, like, I'm watching you down there. I know, right? Yeah. I'm always watching <laughs> Wazowski. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's fun though. It gives me it gives me a, something to do when I'm yeah. bored. I can I can kind of peruse through yeah. comedy shows down here and see who's performing. There's where. some funny people. There are, yeah. yeah. It's a crazy talented bunch down mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Boise, you watch. Boise's gonna blow up. I hope so. Somebody, yeah. somebody yeah. here is going to come out. Mm-hmm. And, and you yeah. know, that's what happens. You get that standout yeah. um, person that comes out of nowhere and, mm-hmm. and somebody discovers them because they went on a tour or yeah. something yeah. and, and just the right person At saw the right them. Time. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. And, and then next thing you know, there's that person like, oh, Boise Idaho is a hotbed yeah. For, yeah. for comedians. Yeah. Yeah. When in when in reality, Boise has been a hotbed for comedians for a long time. Mm-hmm. And just nobody realized it. Yeah. yeah. Because there's just a crazy bunch of of talented comedians here. They really here. are. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I was surprised. Yeah. We've gone to the Crescent three nights or three, three Tuesdays yeah. in a row and just amazing laughs. Yeah. Just yeah. dying. You gotta yeah. you gotta do the you gotta do the Tuesday. Do the Tuesday marathon. Tuesday Oh, you yeah. what you were saying. Ah, I wanna six. do it. I wanna do it. It's like three different three yeah. different places just in Boise. There's three yeah. and they all yeah. follow one after the other. Yeah. Um I'll send you the thing. I have the thing. Okay, cool. I have okay, it. Cool. It's yeah. actually on the Boise. Boise comedy fans. Oh, oh is it on okay. You guys are on there. Yeah, you guys, yeah, that's yeah. how we got in contact. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, if you go on the Boise comedy fans, uh, some some Alicia Harris, I think, yeah, posts a thing. To, and we need and it turned to into a get thing. Get a driver. Get yes. A yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. You're going to be Ubering that yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Please I, don't drive yourselves. <laughs> oh, I can tell you, if I come down for a Tuesday night, I'm going to need an Uber right yeah. off the first place. <laughs> yeah. So I'll probably have to Uber to the first venue. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. All right, we're an hour and twenty-two minutes in, so oh, look let's at us go. Let's get into the real dirt. Um, oh any, boy! Any uh, comedian that you just find not funny? Not the locals. Don't talk about those guys. I'm talking about the big guys. The big guys. And if there isn't one, you don't have to. No, there so. are. There okay. are. <laughs> I just have to think of. Uh, I just have to think of the names. Uh, let me tell you this. I think. Um. I, I can't stand Wanda Sykes. 
Oh, oh really? Okay. I can't stand her. <laughs> yeah. I can't stand Wanda Is it the Sykes. the voice or just it's, the whole everything? Yeah, it's her voice and her comedy. I don't think it's that great. Yeah. It doesn't speak to me. Mm-hmm. Let's not say it's not great. Yeah. It doesn't speak That's to me. That's the thing about comedy, though. It's so... Different to yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah. It just... Yeah. Um, on. Wanda Sykes, I think, is not that funny. And I think that, um, you know, I hate to say this because I've seen a couple of specials. Uh, Joe Coy... Yes. No, uh, it's the same jokes over and over. I would agree I, with you on that one. Honestly, I know, and he is filling. He's up funny. Huge. Don't get me wrong. Like my the first time I saw Stadiums. Joe Coy, I thought, "Gosh, he's really funny." Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and like, I like. I but like his then podcast. I saw him again and again and again, and I was like, "Yeah, it's the same shit." Yeah. Like it, it's yeah. maybe worded different, but basically his whole comedy is based off the same exact thing: mm-hmm. yeah. being an Asian American mm-hmm. and dealing with Asian, fully Asian parents and an Asian family, and uh, that's funny. Yeah. But and it was funny the first time I saw it. <laughs> right. But it wasn't funny after that. Yeah. I, I, and he's, yeah, he's he's, he's going to be here. Huge. He's here yeah, in March. Yeah, huge. he is. And he's we here in like, March. And I'm like, gosh, I kind of I, I yeah. kind of want to go. Oh, we, dude. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want to see him live. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, I wonder if that would change our minds if we saw him live. Yeah. yeah. You know who else I think is not funny? Tiffany Haddish. I cannot oh, stand she, like, Tiffany, Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. It's her not voice funny. for me. Yes. And her voice just... You know what? And here's the worst thing ever. My daughter's two. And at that point, at two years old, the kids start picking a movie they love so oh, much no. <laughs> that they want to hear, they want to watch ten times a day. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter's movie... Is Secret Life of Pets too? <laughs> is she a voice in that one? Yes. Oh, is she? I didn't know that. Yes, she voices one of the dogs oh, in the geez. movie, and it's. I'm just like, and all I can do is picture Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. And I'm just like, God, I hate this chick. Yeah. Yeah. I can't. She's not. Uh. <laughs> and so I got to listen to her voice. It's a what voice thing. What is that thing. thing she always says? She has a little saying. Do you, do you know, know it? Oh, she no. she said it on Kill Tony several times. Yeah, and I can't stand it. Yeah, I don't know what it Tiffany was. Tiffany Hash is not yeah. funny to me. I would have to yeah. agree with you on those three choices. Nice. Uh, personally, yeah. Wanda Sykes, I have heard her do a couple of bits that I liked, but overall, eh, yeah, not my favorite. Yeah, not a fan. Uh, yeah. Not a fan. Uh, Joe Coy, we've actually talked about yeah. Joe Coy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not not a, I, 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 like I said, the first time I saw Joe Coy, I was, I was laughing. Yeah. I thought he was hilarious. Um, but unfortunately, I watched more specials. Yeah, and that's where it ruined it for me. When I was yeah. just like, "Well, it's the same shit over yeah. and over again." Just maybe yeah. delivered a little different, yeah. but it's yeah. the same. But it's working for him. Mm-hmm. He's super famous. Huge. He's yeah, super famous. I mean, he's it's crazy how big he is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's getting getting big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's at a pretty good place. Like, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. at a place now I where I think most comedians, comedians would yeah. be comfortable. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think most of us would be would like, like it. yeah. If we could get just a Netflix special, that'd be great. Oh yeah. You know, my my friend, uh, my friend Riley Hoy, he said, you know, uh, when, I, when, and this is what I love about Riley. This is why. He speaks in the present. I hang out with Riley and I really, I, besides loving his comedy, he's funny. Yeah. Um, he says, when I do my first Netflix special. Yep. Not if uh, I get a Netflix right. special. When. When I get my first Netflix special. Exactly. That's what I love about that kid. Mm-hmm. Is it, it's not a, it's not an option. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is what's going to happen. People are having to. I just listened to a podcast with Sam Morell. Is that his name? The, yeah, yeah. yeah he Sam just Morell. put his on YouTube. He was like, nobody will buy it. I went to Netflix. Yeah. They wouldn't purchase it. Oh. But uh, YouTube, and then you get subscribers. Yeah. Then yeah. But then I see some. Yeah, but then well, I see some. Just like they'll do. Um, Netflix did. Uh, a comedy series, a special, oh, it was, uh, like the degenerates, degenerates, yeah. you know, yeah, and it was good. like was that- two, two or three of them were mm-hmm. great. Yeah. And the rest of them were like, how did you get the special? Yeah. How did you do that? Yeah. Like, cause yeah. honestly, and I'm, I'm not an egomaniac obviously, but like, I, I was like, I could probably could have, could have come up with a better special than mm-hmm. that on the fly. Yeah. And here you are getting paid Netflix money mm-hmm. to, to be on this. And it's like, yeah. damn dude, like, I can imagine for people like uh, here in Boise, comedians here in Boise who grind it out and do it yeah. every day. Yeah. And they're just so funny. I mean, I just, know. Uh, so funny. And you watch these guys and you're like, that wasn't funny mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's that other chick? There's another chick. Mm. She's an Asian lady. 
she did a special on Netflix and she was pregnant. It was uh, oh, oh, it was uh, what's her name? Ali Wong. Yeah, Ali Wong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think she was that funny. Big. Yeah, I haven't watched much. I of saw her one special up. by her uh, on her of her that I thought was great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, um, I, because I watched one of them and I was like, wow, that was really funny. Mm-hmm. Like, she's funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, she has a show too. I th- mm. she have a show. She was on a show. I don't know. She has a show. I'm not sure. She was. She recently did that movie for Netflix, uh, Always Be My Maybe, oh. with uh, the guy from Fresh Off the Boat. Mm-hmm. We watched that on the plane, Always Be My Maybe, Ali Wong. Was it good? Yeah, you liked it. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's kind of like the love story. She's my, the uh, famous uh, chef. Uh, my girlfriend loves yeah. Ali Wong, yeah. oh, okay. by the way. She yeah. thinks she's really funny, yeah. and I think she's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. Kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, they... You know, I I watch a lot of uh, like Comedy Central. I have Pluto. Mm-hmm. Pluto is wonderful. Is it? Is it? Really? Oh my! Like, it's okay, free. Number yeah, one. We have it, but we haven't found it. Never okay, tried it. there's yeah. like five stand up uh, oh, channels on there. It's nothing but stand up. Okay, oh, we got to check that. Nothing out. but stand up. We on had there. no so idea. If you want to watch stand up, Pluto is yeah. wonderful because there's like four or five channels of nothing Just but stand up. Oh, cool. And yeah, it's really a great way to see some we people. And a lot that. of it's an older, it's older stand up. But mm-hmm. um, um, gosh, what is that one kid's name? Um, the one that's in, the one that is in, uh, what's the singing movie? Uh, singing, pitch, pitch perfect. perfect. You're talking about Adam, Adam Devine. Adam Devine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love Adam Devine. <laughs> yes, he yeah. has Adam Devine's house party. Yeah, and it's one of the funniest shows I've ever really? seen. Um, because we don't have Comedy Central, but no. yeah, I know the show. Well, they the have show. it comes up on the Pluto. Oh, Comedy really? Central oh. Pluto. Look, check yes, it out. Yes, we got. Uh, here I am. Come on, Pluto. Where's that money at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. right. Start <laughs> kicking it my way. They got everything for everybody. Pluto's the greatest. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor Dylan Bronson. <laughs> yes. Pluto's. When when I want to be entertained, I don't pay money for a service. I just download Pluto. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Commercial. <laughs> Pluto has everything I need: news, Jeez. sports, comedy, uh, reality TV. It's all there. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, they have they Adam they have Adam Devine's house party. He did it in uh, Hawaii, and they bring on the comedians and they do skits. Like there's a, a running theme through the entire show. Oh, nice. He's mm. just funny. Yeah. Yeah. He's funny. Yeah. And His some people don't think funny. he's funny. Yeah. But he I, is. But I think he's no, funny. He's funny. Um, because he plays that character. I mean, he just hits yeah. that character just right, mm-hmm. and he sticks with it, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, no, the the he's um, a guy in Modern Family. Yeah. Right. Okay. Workaholics. Yeah. Were you a workaholics fan? Yeah, I love workaholics. Okay. Are you yeah. Kidding yeah. Me? <laughs> I actually, I actually thought about coming in here with a. Uh, two white claws taped to my hand today really because i thought that'd be freaking hilarious instead of 40 ounces because yeah. i'm kind of a lightweight we'll just do two white claws <laughs> yeah that was a conversation i had with my roommate i was like you know oh what dude God. i kind of think i want to go in there duct tape with beer duct tape to my hand <laughs> i kind of wish you had <laughs> yeah right like maybe next all, time maybe always, next time always go with that idea. Uh, <laughs> but i thought it would be even funnier if i came with white claws duct tape to yeah, my hand instead, yeah, yeah. instead i'm rolling with a uh with a, a natty cherry natty. lime mix, oh. Catalina nice. lime mixer. Nice. Oh, I thought you actually had a beer there. No, it's, it's a, a Catalina, Catalina lime mixer. A spritzer. Which, sad news, I heard, I heard from uh, my local smoke shop, because they know everything. <laughs> uh, the local smoke shop told me that they are going to discontinue natural light seltzers. Really? Uh, instead, they're going to bring out the stupid Bud Light. Uh, seltzers. Oh, oh, really? Have you had those seltzers. things? Do you no. drink the seltzers? <laughs> no. no. I'm a seltzer guy. So <laughs> no. these things are incredible. I had the Bud Light seltzer. I'm and just that's a nice good. beer koozie you have. Uh, this oh. one is actually going to be your guys's when I'm done. <laughs> oh, I'm nice. leaving this for you. Sweet. I, awesome. I wanted to use it for the show because keep Perfect. my beverage cold through this yeah, yeah. whole ordeal. But yeah, this one's going to be yours. Nice. So, And uh, I will tell you this. Twenty-four ounce koozies, not hard, not easy to come by. Yeah, I special yeah. order I these. I special order these and have them printed really? uh, with my with my logo and uh, and I hand them out because uh, people. You know, six, the only place I think you can really get a, a twenty-four ounce koozie is Vegas. Oh wow! Really, it's the only wow. place I've been able to buy them is Vegas. Big wow. D comedy. Big D comedy. Yeah, and yeah. What, it's what? a work in progress. It was supposed to look like a penis. 
Uh, kind of does. It was, it was I mean, but see, my my print guy and I can't I mean, get the, on the same page with this. What a penis looks like. It was balls. it was supposed to be like a cock and balls. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Um, this isn't phallic enough for me. <laughs> okay, okay. It was supposed, but I if you look put at some it, veins in it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, well we well uh, there's even been talk of hairs, but okay, okay. I didn't. I wasn't on board with the hair. <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> maybe yeah. like a shaved. Yeah, manscaped. Maybe, yeah, manscaped. Maybe um, more of a shaft on the D. Yeah, I just don't think. <laughs> okay. I don't think he understood where I was trying to go with it. <laughs> I explained to him where I was trying to go with it, but he's kind of an older, kind of straight edge dude, okay. and I think that so he was that like, was... "I know what you're trying to do, and you're gross." <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> nobody's gonna buy anything with a logo that looks like cock and balls. I totally yeah. think they would. They absolutely <laughs> yeah, would. Yeah. Yes. You know why? That because the, the people that come to my shows are sick in the head like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I, I say weird, gross things, and they all get it, and they think it's funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why they're there. But this one's yours. I'm leaving this for nice. you. Oh, thank, thank you. I just needed to borrow it for today. <laughs> awesome, you. awesome. Before, you'll be the, oh, sorry. Sorry, you'll be the only ones The only ones of your friends have a 24-ounce uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So there That's you go. Cool. We'll have to put it in a story. Yes. Instagram story. Instagram. You, don't, you can't get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could yeah. if they ordered. Yeah, because yeah. I can get them printed oh, they pretty go. quickly. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I can get them printed pretty fast. Nice. Uh, I think I was selling these for eight bucks. Yeah, and eight yeah. bucks for you know after my cost, throw a few bucks in my pocket. Eight bucks. Yeah, yeah you know? cool. So I mean, they're Sweet. not too. You go to Vegas, they're pretty cheap, but mm-hmm. you know they sell. Yeah, bonkers. but they don't say big D. They comedy. don't say big. They say Las Vegas. Yeah. Everybody's been to Vegas. Right. Come on, what? who wants that crap? Who wants a <laughs> Vegas koozie? Lame. <laughs> Okay, before we get out of here, I have to ask you uh, the comment that you, uh, the last comment you sent me, it was on the the light orbs, <laughs> which were filmed in which our living room. we had more last night. Yes. Oh, yeah, there was another light orb video last night. I'll, I'll show it to you when we're done. <laughs> um, and um, the last comment that you sent, that was a Be- Beetlejuice reference, right? It was right? a Beetlejuice <laughs> reference. Okay, that's what I, I, Six I, foot, seven uh, foot, yeah. eight <laughs> foot, bitch. Yeah. Daylight come and we want to go home. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a okay. Beetlejuice reference. <laughs> Big Beetlejuice fan, so. Nice. okay. <laughs> well, if, if anytime there's a ghost, I want that ghost secretly to lift me up and play clips. So, yeah, nice. <laughs> so that's, that's like the ultimate goal for it's me. possibly my grandma and dad. I'm not sure they could lift you. My grandma. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's who she thinks i think, think that was a ghost though year old. you think so i you know i've always been skeptic of ghosts in newer yeah, homes me too um but you know i think that the i think that we carry them with us sometimes all this furniture is my grandma's and my oh. dad passed in august and yeah. i brought some of his stuff in i i feel like spirits attached to certain items I, sometimes... there could be one certain item yeah, yeah that you brought in um that there was a spirit attached to. I, yeah. I totally believe in that. Yeah. So yes, no, it, that. It. You know what though? As long as they're friendly. Yeah. That's you know, what I'm as saying. long as as long as they're not like opening all your cabinets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Leaving shit in weird spots. Because that's like yeah, just like kind of annoying. It's kind of dicky. Yeah. Like, don't like, be a dick. Nobody wants an annoying ghost. Yeah, like no, no. What what did your ghost do? Left the fridge door open yeah. all night. You know how much that's gonna cost Didn't me every do night? His fucking dishes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe this ghost could do the dishes yeah. for once, you know? <laughs> oh, I woke up and the ghost mopped my floor. That'd be awesome. Yeah, like, that'd why be a great ghost. ghost, ghost you lucky yeah. son of a bitch. Yeah. Where do I get one of yeah. those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I need a ghost that cleans wanna... my house, yeah. <laughs> details yeah. my car. Yeah, none of them ever do that. <laughs> yeah. like fly around How come and... I can't get the, co- the ghost of an old car detailer? <laughs> yeah, you know, can't let it go. <laughs> yeah. It's what he always did, and now he just wants to do yeah. it. Yeah, park the car in the garage, we and boom, I wake dick. up the next day and it's squeaky clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. you never get that. <laughs> no, no, you always hear of annoying ghosts who've done weird shit, yeah. like knocked your chair over. Yeah, what are you drunk? I got a drunk ghost. I got the dick yeah. of ghosts. I got the drunk ghost. All he did was leave my fridge door open. Cost me electrical costs. <laughs> now my power bills double. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. All right, we've been here for a long time. Uh, plug dates where? Uh, yeah, yeah. After after the release date, where? What are you doing? Shows uh, tonight? Uh, well, tonight for sure. I'm in, uh, and then ev- the next Sunday? No, not next Sunday. Last Sunday of every month. So I don't know what that falls on March. But, oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, it's easy to remember. Yeah. Even though I had month. somebody message me last night and go, "Hey, is your show tonight?" Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> we go to the same bar all the time uh, yeah. if you haven't figured it out by now look at the calendar yeah like you might want to seek rehab um but uh yeah no last sunday of every month at the 55 wind break uh cool. i've got this uh this um voices against violence fundraiser yes. april 7th That's um, awesome. at the milner's gate in twin falls um other than that you know uh, we're just we're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. We're we're Big working D on comedy. some Big D comedy Idaho uh, for Instagram, mm-hmm. and I don't really have a page for Facebook. It's just me, Dylan mm-hmm. Bronson okay. on Facebook. I post stuff up on there. Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm like I said, I'm I'm not I'm not internet savvy. I'm yeah. I suck at the social yeah. media stuff. We're yep. getting there. We're learning and, it. And, <laughs> as a matter of fact, if you go on the Big D comedy Idaho, there's just not a lot of postings, mm-hmm. and I'm really bad about that. I, I'm really yeah. terrible about recording my sets and putting them up. I I know that about myself, mm-hmm. uh, and I'm not working on that at all. <laughs> Good so. <laughs> It is what it is. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I've and known that for a year. For... That oh, one. The clown horn. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's great. <laughs> awesome. So we'd like to thank you for coming yeah, out and being so on the much. podcast. Thank you for having me. What a great time. It's been awesome. yeah. it's been great meeting you and talking with you and learning all about this. I never scene pass up a chance balls. to talk about myself. Woo. Hey, yeah. Awesome. yeah, why would you? No. <laughs> I'm very humble that way. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm going to sign out. I'm signing off. I'm Chris Adam. I'm Wendy Mosier. Hashtag get toasted. Stay toasted. Boom. Sweet. Where's my.